Hi everyone, it's Cindy. Welcome back to Studio Lou. I'm here today with a flip through of my latest journal, which is The Keeper of Ducks. So this was made with my latest um, digital collection, which has the same name and is already up in my Etsy shop. So this journal um, has been a story that I've wanted to tell for quite some time. Um, something that we like to do when we're out wandering um, is to collect like little duck feathers and little feathers that we find. And so for the longest time I've had this story in my mind of these kind of like majestic woodsy women who are like the protectors and the keepers of ducks and then it all kind of culminated for me when I found this large book at um, a thrift store called um, Duck Stamps and it was kind of uh, the documentation of an effort that was made beginning in the 60s and going into the 90s to have a bunch of artists, artists like Glenn Lutz and Robert Bateman, um, participate in creating paintings that could then later be turned into postage stamps and sold to raise funds for the conservation of wetlands and duck species and that sort of thing. So this is the book. <laughs> so you will see it's a relatively larger book. Um, this book is already spoken for. It has these beautiful feathers that jut out the top. And um, this is inside a Franklin Library book. Um, it was an F. Scott Fitzgerald book, but has now been completely transformed. So let's start with the cover. So I wanted to decide on pawn one of these frames. So I chose this, the second smallest of the frames to add one of the images from my digital collection. And I've done that and I've embossed it. So it's like nice and hard and protected. The closure is via gold eyelets with this lovely batik um, green and blue fabric, kind of like that special little feather that juts out on the wing of a mallard. Um, I made this Keeper of the Ducks label and then I created this cut out of this painting of ducks here and then added this little 1977 Massachusetts waterfowl stamp. So this was from the, the stamps book and then this is one of the stamps that was created by the artist. I created some kind of like faux little folds in it and stuff and inked it up to just try to give a little bit of age to the book. Then this is what the back cover looks like. Um, and it is 11, no, 10, 10 signatures. It has a hidden hollow back spine. Um, and let's just jump on into it. This is a cotton batik fabric. Lots of fun. So as we step onto the inside here, you'll see I kept the, listen to this, the original fun um, end papers and use the fly pages. So this is actually doubled up. So there's, <laughs> should you remove this, there's another one underneath, not that you would want to do that, but um, because the end papers and the fly page were the same, I was able to keep the end paper. I used fabric to back that hidden spine and then added the fly page as the new end paper and had a little leftover for a pocket here which I stitched some of those those dyed feathers to, which are thrift finds. I do have some real feathers in here from my own collecting. Not that these aren't real feathers. I don't buy these type of feathers typically unless I see them in a thrift store because I can't be sure of where they've come from. So that being said, I wanted to start the book out as I often do using some kind of like history to tell the tales. So I had this post because photo postcard. Um, photo by Hewood Leister, Hinckley and Milton Mowbray, and has this lovely lady standing at a chair in this beautiful kind of room. And I just added these little ducks here, one on the windowsill, one on her chair, and just one sitting behind her. So maybe she was one of the more historical mothers of the keepers of the ducks. So that just pops in behind the feathers into this little pocket here. Then this is where the journal begins with one of the digitals from my kit. I should also mention I used one of my, I haven't even shared this technique with you with anyone, but it's a technique that I use to kind of finish um, and age and weather the signatures. So I did that in this book. So they have nice crinkly kind of edges. So I stitched on a feather here onto my digital page. This is one of the backgrounds from my kit and this pocket is from my kit and it says waiting for spring to come around. This is um, a piece of ephemera also from my kit and I've done some collaging and mark making, drawing, added stamps. 
the way that this kit is put together is essentially the main pages have a more photographic style and the background pages are a blend of watercolor bit of photographic style and um, illustration and then the ephemera is actual collage ephemera that I've made and scanned for the uh, collection and then this is some paper from inked paper art and then a little tiny tuck spot here um, there's some bird houses hanging on a tree and this is another page from inked paper art I just wanted to create a little something right there and this is just a beautiful image of just a really colorful plant from a book some of my cabbage dyed paper. This is scrapbook paper that ducks always remind me of like cottages and things and this reminds me of like a dock or a cottage deck. Belly band here and then this is like um, a tall kind of journal card with a couple of the duck stamps. I should also mention the page tabs. Those are made from this lovely duck fabric and it's all different ducks. I've got a few page tabs through here. Um, then I kind of wanted to set like a tone to like how how did this come about this becoming a keeper of the duck at least for this one woman whose whose journal this is or whose concept lives in this journal and maybe it came from her childhood and reading the tale of Jemima Puddle Duck. So Jemima Puddle Duck, a fairy tale for Ralph and Betsy. So these are the original pages from an, um, the book, little little copy of the book. I have the the copyright page coming up I forget the year it's early 1900s then this is one of my backgrounds with the feathers and there is one of my main pages and then we have the tale of Jemima Puddle Duck by Beatrix Potter and this is from 1908 another of those wood pages and then I've made a belly band with the duck stamps and a little journal card of these ducks inside cabbage dyed paper and a little upper tuck pocket more of that plant and this large journal card and this is a page from inked paper art this is a little I have to I have to say that Canada geese and swans do make appearances in here because I figure you can't be a keeper of ducks without also having to house these guys sometimes and they're such a big part of uh, my life right now because every single morning I am woken up by the honking parade of the Canada geese because Canada geese sort of have two ways of nesting. One is that they're called back to their ancestral home, no matter what it looks like now. It used to be a farm or a forest and now it's, you know, a house, but they come back or sometimes they just randomly fall in love with something and they just stay there or they meet a new partner. So they're very curious birds. And what they do is they stand on the roofs of our houses in this area and they just like they just honk their hearts out um, early in the morning about like 6 45 ish they fly on in honking they land honking and they just honk away <laughs> and then this journal card with a little stamp up here that's another of my background pages two more pages from my kit of our keepers and their ducks more feather background from my kit and then um, I did a little stenciling on the Beatrix Potter pages. This is a pocket from the ephemera in my kit and this is just a fun scrapbook page. You can see some of the dye from the other side. I wanted to kind of do some like nice aging to these pages so I chose to dye them and play with them a little bit. Dye pages little ducks here make a pocket you'll see these papers throughout I've added this dotted paper on the back of anywhere that I have stitched on well almost everywhere I stitched on leaves to hide the stitching but also to just give kind of a fun little collage look these ducks in this beautiful sunset over the water I just love the purpley color of this with the ducks it's so pretty and then some stitched on feathers here I know the feathers are probably a little out of frame because I can't <laughs> back the whole thing out. Um, this is one of my background pages so you'll see that the background pages have the watercolor paintings on them. And then the center spread for, with another of my pages and another background page all from my kit. This is just a dyed page and a little, little duck cut out here. 
some cabbage dyed paper and some fun mixed media papers. And then these are the ducks that I've been seeing quite often right now. It's their time um, to migrate in my area, the bufflehead duck. I've seen about four of them this season so far and it's such a lovely surprise because we're so used to the mallards um, in this area. So this tag, this is another piece from my kit. It's collaged. Another page from Jemima Puddle Duck. Another background page and main page from my kit. This pocket's also from my kit, and this is just a pretty scrapbook paper with feathers. Um, this is a lovely vintage postcard from Fundy National Park. These are the flower pot rocks, a place that I've been where it's the largest um, rise and fall of tide I believe in the world so like within I think an hour two hours the water rises like from way down here where this lady is standing it rises all the way up like it's it's amazing and there's like a there's a clock there with like a, a tide um, measuring kind of thing that shows you when you can be in certain places and when you can't like you can't get you know don't get trapped downstairs on the ground floor basically um, when the tides come in so this is a really cute postcard sent August 16th of 1963. Dear Daddy, it's a lovely park, but the weather is a bit coolish. The children are fascinated by the tide changes. They moved back step by step as it came in last night. On Sunday, we're off for PEI. Love, Hilda. Um, so I felt like um, this was a nice little thing to include because absolutely ducks hang out at Fundy National Park. Um, they like to sift through the seaweeds there and eat little critters. So then this is a little tarot card of this girl sitting up on top of a tree and she has wings. And this is another beautiful duck journal card. More stenciling and painty bits on Jemima here. And then another feather stitched to a hand dyed page. And this is from a Glenn Lotes book. It's his sketches of ducks some collaging and we have like a little duck hanging out here and then this is actually a pocket but it's like these images actually go together but it's hidden so it can hold on to this journal card. Um, then we have this little tab of a duck, some sprayed dyed pages and another page from my kit. Backgrounds from my kit with a little Jemima puddle duck in between. Another page of my kit of the keeper more Jemima Puddle Duck and there's a little duck poking his head up on my backgrounds there. Another page for my kit and some more sprayed dyed pages. A little tuck spot here and some beautiful Canada geese with a water lily. Lovely piece of art and it's natural paper on the back or handmade paper. And then um, this is from the duck stamp book, The Snow Goose and more of Glen Lote sketches and hand dyed paper, Jemima puddle duck, a little pocket of ducks with a tag up here with some fabric stitched on top. More of that pretty scrapbook paper and a little duck pocket down here. This is also from my kit. Um, it's collaged and marks and stencils, all sorts of things. By day and by night began to wander to the forest, the woodland keepers, content with all my heart. Um, I used a lot of beautiful pages from different bird books, so this is one of them. And I've stitched some feathers up top. Then we have another little duck here and Jemima again. More cabbage dye paper and more of Jemima. And this little pocket here says over the water and it's from my kit. And this is fun feathery paper. This is a watercolor paint swatch with duck colors from Release the Crafton. Um, upper tuck pocket here. And this is from my kit. It says nature reveals a magical sight. Journal card. Here. And then some of this beautiful duck fabric here. Jemima Puddle Duck again. Coffee dyed paper and one of those stamps, the duck stamps. Another spread from my kit. Inking, just like an inked border and um, coffee dyed paper. There's another Jemima Puddle Duck page and a little 
bufflehead duck. A couple more little ducks. Could probably play some kind of a drinking game like duck duck goose every time I say duck. This is a vintage playing card and more of the feathers and this large duck journal card. Stenciling and Jemima and um, cabbage dyed paper more of Jemima Puddle Duck. Another little one there. Another of those beautiful um, vintage book illustrations. And another page from my kit. Another little feather here. And some of Jemima Puddle Duck's story. Hand dyed paper. More of Jemima Puddle Duck. This is a belly band from my kit. It says Birds of a Feather. And this round journal card inside. Spring, and this is kind of a um, what's the word for that? Like a ruffled page, I forget the name of. But it's dyed, and it was a fun paper that I used as kind of a scrap paper for dyeing. And then this beautiful duck is from a vintage book. Come along. And then some of the duck stamps. All the washi in this is handmade by me, hand painted and stamped. More ducks from the vintage books and more of the faceted paper, gusseted paper, that's what it is, a gusset. Then this was a little quote from the, the duck stamp book, I think. Yes, um, we love birds. We love painting them, writing and talking about them, watching them and listening to them and attempting to learn something about them. This is really what this book is all about. So this could be like a bird watching book. That would be nice. You could like document your your bird discoveries um, and then this is a little cluster that I made with some shashimir and lace and this little duck and then over here we have a tarot card of this little this woman with this little bird and um, this is from my kit it was a long dangerous journey through a sea of thick tangled weeds and this is another Jemima puddle duck green paper and some more of Jemima Puddle Duck and some more little ducks there. Another page from my kit and another of those vintage duck paintings. A little duck down there and some coffee dyed paper. Another tarot card of this little sort of swan girl holding on to a swan. And this is um, another of my digital pages. You'll see the other side as we as we move along. And then um, that large journal card, some stitched on feathers there. And then some mixed media paper and um, dyed paper. Jemima Puddle Duck. And this little pocket is from my kit. It says Sea Maiden. And more, another journal card with some organza, more feathers back here. And more mixed media paper. This has some nice sparkle and shimmer to it. I got some fun mixed media results on the papers in this book. And then this is just a cut out, fussy cut from the duck stamp book. And this is from another um, vintage duck bird illustration book. It's the Northern Shoveler. And more collaging and mixed media, some weathered paper. And another pocket here with the Canada Goose tag inside. More of Jemima Puddle Duck. Hand dyed paper and mixed media paper. Another page from my kit and some coffee dyed paper. Another of the duck stamps. Another page from the vintage illustration. And then another page from my kit as well as a stitched on feather up there. That's a background from my kit pocket. This piece is from my kit. It says to the Greenwood of the Keepers. And some little kind of feathery painted uh, bits there on some more sprayed paper stenciling on Jemima Puddle Duck. And just some fun craft paper, Jemima again. Another tab on this beautiful piece of paper that's just got greens and yellows. Reminds me of, again, that lovely little feather that you see in the, the wing of the mallard or in their heads when they're, when they're young. Um, more painting mixed media. This is a little pocket that says Fall Flights of Waterfowl, and that's also from my kit, as well as the background here. This is an envelope that I made, and inside we have this journal card.
another page for my kit of the keepers. This is a little um, tarot card here. This girl with wings on one of my backgrounds. This is another tag from my kit. It says traditionally nurtured millions of ducks. Some silver sparkle there and collaging. Um, more mixed media and some stitched threads and duck colors. More of Jemima Puddle Duck and craft paper. Another painting. And then this is another vintage playing card, this time of Canada geese. And this is a little tag from my kit. It says, but if spring is the loveliest, gentlest time of the year. And then we have a background from my kit here and two more pages from Keeper of the Ducks more of the backgrounds, um, more hand dyed paper and Jemima. This is a Swan Spirit um, tarot card and a journal card here and another tab. And I got some really brilliant results from some inking I was doing. I was using the ink that I made from some old Pantone markers and then added Distress Oxide and coffee spray to it and oh, it just came out really nice. Um, I'm playing with this kind of thing also here with some of my watercolors. So I was trying to get a little bit of a, a play on my background papers here. And then another page from Keeper of the Ducks and I've stitched feathers there. And again, more of the, you know, playing with the colors, watercolor to ink. More of Jemima Puddle Duck and the green dyed paper. That's another page for my kit. And, um, another of the vintage duck images and another duck stamp. This is scrapbook paper, sprayed the back, stenciled Jemima Puddle Duck, stitched on a feather on my hand dyed paper. This is another background from my kit, another main page from my kit, some painting on the back side of this vintage common eater page. And then we have this upper tuck spot and this journal card cut label style with this whole sweet duck family with some painted paper on the back. Here we have a goose from my kit. And this duck is also from my kit. Some hand dyed papers and Jemima. Scrapbook paper uh, and another duck stamp. These are vintage images from the bird book. Stitched more feathers. Another postage stamp, this one with the geese. Coffee dyed paper, some beautiful um, 49 in market scrap of paper. The Merganser, I've done some fun stitching on the side. This is like a wrinkled kind of playful cabbage dyed paper and some more of Jemima Puddle Duck. Another page from my kit, the Keeper of the Ducks. And this is ephemera from that same kit and a background. And then I made this wood duck journal card with some painty paper on the back. Some brown steno paper. This is another piece of ephemera from my kid. It's this beautiful white bird. Just tucks into that flipped up page. More inking. And that's another original page for my kit. Another little tab and a pocket with another journal card. And then some decoy ducks on this tag and this little pocket on my background. Another main page from my kit and some more Jemima Puddle Duck. Cabbage dyed paper, another common Merganser, and then a tarot card of this winged girl, girls, two-headed girl, <laughs> on the 49 and Market paper with this decoy journal card. Um, coffee dyed paper another of the stamps and the last page is another of those beautiful vintage book pages and then at the back here i've added my signature and date and done a little um studio lou um, wax seal with some of those dyed feathers in behind and i added i did the same thing by keeping these papers at the back i made like a big kind of side brochure style pocket and i added the cover of the tale of jemima puddle duck by beatrix potter and um it's like a little a little writing board so you know you could use it throughout you know wherever you're working and I thought it'd be a nice little inclusion back there so 
that is the end of the Keeper of Ducks. So as I noted, this journal is spoken for. So she, this won't be going in my Etsy shop. It will be going off to its new home. Um, but the digital kit is currently in my shop. So definitely feel free to check it out if this interests you. I had a lot of fun. I've been working on this for quite a while. And it's nice to kind of finally bring it to fruition. So thank you so much again for joining me. I had lots of fun uh, showing this to you. And I hope you have a lovely day. Bye for now.